Hi and welcome back to the NFSTI video tutorial series. Today's topic is logging in and editing your profile and avatar on FSTI.com. I'm going to start with a demonstration test username and password that I've already pre-created. If you've watched video series number one, choose a membership, at this point in time you should have already made your payment or selected the free membership, created a username and a password with your profile, and then activated it from the email that you received after going through the registration process. In this case, my username is 62890. I'm going to type in my password that I pre-created and customized so that I can remember it. You can change that any time. I'll show you how. Oops. And let's hit the login. I am going to hit the Remember Me button here because this is my computer. If you're using a public computer, such as at a real estate office where it's a community uh, computer in the bullpen, you may want to consider checking that. So let's go ahead and log in. Okay, now that we've gotten logged in, you can see that I've got a fresh slate started here. We're on the same page, which is the home page. If you look up here, you'll see that the home button is highlighted both in the main navigation bar and the sub navigation bar. But the only thing that you'll see different is under my profile where it used to have a login and a create user account uh, indicator inside of this box, it's now showing my username and it's going to give me a few options to visit my profile edit my profile, change my avatar, and then log out. The other thing that you're going to see here too is that there is one update. I'll get to that in a second. The first thing I'm going to take a look at are, are what are these different topics. The first one is visit my profile. If I want to see my profile from the perspective of another user or another member, I want to click that. Sometimes that's very helpful when you're creating a profile just to double check and make sure that everything looks the way that you want it to from the user's perspective. In this case, you'll see that my activity is showing up, and I can go ahead and delete this because it's simply a, a, a dummy post. It really didn't have anything of significance to it. You'll also see that there's some other options that popped up down here, such as profile, blogs, friends, groups, achievements, and settings. Each of these has further information that we're going to talk about also, you'll see within each of these activities, there are subcategories. So within my activity, what's my activity? The activity of my friends, activity within groups, my favorites, and then what's called my mentions. This is anytime somebody mentions my particular user account ID, it'll show up. In this case, there's more than likely nothing there since this was a test dummy account, but I'm going to click it anyways. Sorry, there was no activity found. Please try a different filter and these are the filters. In this case, I didn't put a filter in, so it would have shown up anything that had uh, been mentioned under my user account ID. Let's go ahead and head back to the home page now. By doing this, I'm going to show you a few of the other options that allow you to edit your profile now. So let's click Edit Profile off to the left. And here you're going to see that we've got a few options to edit our profile. First of all, we can type in our full name. I'm going to put in my, my real name. Actually, I'm going to make a slight adjustment to it so people don't get confused. As you can see, I'm editing what's called a free membership. I'm going to say that I am an other. You can say that you're a real estate agent if you're a real estate agent or broker. If you happen to be a mortgage lender or asset manager or title representative, you can also indicate that here. I'm going to put in an email account, my primary phone number, my address number, street, and direction. So address number, street, and direction which in this case I don't have, which would be south, north, west, or east. There is no suite number, so I'm not going to put anything there. Under city, I'm going to put my city. Whoops. 
And as you can see, you're always going to be given instructions under each one of these boxes, so you shouldn't feel left out. Now under state, please note that it does mention that you need to put in the two-letter code. An example in my case is NY. If you type out the entire word, the, the system is not going to recognize it, so please only use the two-letter code for each state. Here's the zip code. And the last one is the one that typically trips people up. This is location. This is for geolocation purposes, and this is so the Google map that's on your profile can identify where exactly you're at in the country. That's so other members take a look at your map, they see where you're at. So this one requires that we enter the entire location for the mapping system, and there's a demonstration right there. I'm going to put my full address. like that. And I'm going to hit Save Changes. Now that should have updated my entire profile. As you can see, my name shifted from that number over to the name that I put in there. You'll also see that the geolocation is showing up on the map. So now it's showing where I live. And you'll see that all my information has been in here. Let's take a look at that from the user's perspective now. So we have to go home. We go to visit my profile. And now you can see what it looks like. Click Profile. So we were currently on activity. So anything that I had done recently would have shown up there. And there it is. There's my account. Okay. So one last thing that we're going to cover here before the end of today's session. And that's going to be how to change our avatar. In case you don't know, avatar in this case is not referring to that big movie that came out with the tall blue creatures. This is referring to the little icon that's up here that represents what would be your picture. It might be your logo. It could be a funny picture that you have. Please, nothing obscene. In this case, what you want to do is click Change Avatar. This is a very simple process. Now, you do want to make sure that your image is not too big and not too small. If it's too big, in other words, it's a uh, megabyte or larger, and it's uh, taking up the entire screen of your computer when you open it up for the first time, that's a little too large. If it's too small, in other words, it's like the size of a coin when it shows up on your, your computer, then it's going to show up real grainy. We're not going to be able to see the details and features of your face. Um, sometimes people want that, but I believe that it should be just the right size. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to click on the photo or change avatar. And you'll see when I scroll down, scroll down below, the options come up. It's asking me to change my avatar. In this case, it's going to ask me to choose a file. I'm going to click Choose File. And I'm going to pick one that I've got saved on my computer. We're just going to do a generic photograph in this case. It's about 88 kilobytes little picture of my dog wearing a hat. And we're going to upload the image. Now what's it going to do next? If you go down, it's actually asking you to crop your avatar. So it wants me to pick how much of my image I want people to see. So it's going to be a bit. And I'm just going to move it in a little and hit Crop Image. And that'll do it. All right. Well, it's coming up on the 10 minute mark on this video, so I'm going to go ahead and complete it. I'll be looking forward to you to seeing you on the next video. Thanks.